today is uh, 29th may 2022 i'm doing this video uh, for the week starting uh, 30th may 2022 uh, we have the chart here of uh, nifty uh, you can see on this chart uh, i have some lines drawn which were earlier also video earlier videos also con uh, had these chart uh, these uh, lines now uh, if you look at what has happened yesterday uh, sorry on friday uh, on 27th uh, what has happened is this market has closed at 16352 people have been talking about a gap of opening tomorrow and things like that what i think is whatever happens this gap between 16483 these two blue lines here this gap needs to be filled for a, a bull run to start until this gap is filled until this gap is filled there is no chance of a reversal in this market so let's hope tomorrow that uh, the momentum will continue and uh, cross this 16483 if it crosses if it fills this gap then we can see that uh, the target will be uh, 167, 16761 and from there if it crosses that 16761 then the targets of uh, 16800, 17,108, 17,809 and a final target of uh, 17,891 which is the, the top of this line. And then keep, we keep our fingers crossed to see uh, to see whether the, this uh, line gets crossed or not. If it doesn't cross, then again it will look like a triple bottom, a triple top. Okay, so let's go to Sensex. Uh, Sensex also same story. The gap is between 40, 55,029 and 55,488. That gap has to be closed to uh, get a bull run there. <coughs> Okay, and uh, Bank Nifty is poised at uh, a reversal. I think yes. Now you can see if if Bank Nifty closes above thirty-five thousand eight hundred and twenty, then first target is thirty-six thousand four seventy-eight. Final target is thirty-seven thousand nine zero six. Uh, this is poised. Maybe if tomorrow if it crosses this level of um, thirty-five eight twenty, then you can buy bank nifty then that's bank nifty friends um, i have been receiving um, messages that uh, the video is becoming longer and longer uh, therefore i am cutting this video uh, between uh, nifty uh, between the indices and uh, stocks uh, we come to the uh, uh, section of stocks now uh, before we start with the section of stocks i would like to uh, request all of you uh, please like this video please share this video please uh, subscribe to my channel okay we start with uh, asian paints <coughs> asian paints has given a hammer signal here uh, only thing is it is in red but anyway uh, the target was reached target that was given was 2007 uh, 2703 2700 so that is reached now uh, it has reversed from there given a uh, hammer signal expected to uh, open up tomorrow um, Britannia is also has also given a hammer signal you can see here so uh, you can expect a gap of opening not a gap of opening but tomorrow but you can accept a expect a green candle tomorrow 3639 is the immediate target <coughs> Cipla is still not out of the woods. I don't think Cipla will uh, uh, come up until uh, Cipla will give a buy signal only at 9.99. Until then, wait and watch. Aisher Motors target is reached 2695. Target is already reached. The next target is 2778, which is also very near. Final target is 2875. Nestle India 
first target is already reached that is 16673 final target is 18669 grassing still no buy signal uh, there is a small reversal has happened but if you go a little further little little back little back little back you will find that the support is somewhere around 13000 1 and we are still waiting the buy signal will come only here that is uh, 1543 until then buy signal will not come hds hdfc has given a buy signal very clear buy signal very nice buy signal uh, so first target is uh, 2354 next target is 2439 final target is 2667 you can buy this i think tomorrow morning Hero Motor Corp has given a buy signal long back. It has it has given a buy signal on uh, 27th April only. Uh, target is uh, 2830. Hindalco probably the worst is over for Hindalco now. I think, uh, but the but the buy signal will only come if it crosses 455. Hindustan Unilever target is already achieved. The ta of course target was two four one five. It is still not gone there, but it came up to two three eight four. I think uh, the target is two four one five. So hold. ITC has achieved whatever it set out to achieve. I think uh, the highest was two hundred and eighty two, and. Uh, But still, you can still hold trail your stop losses. Uh, there's a lot to happen in ITC. Elante is still in bearish zone. Um, buy signal will only come at 1661. M and M is in. Uh, the buy zone only it is you can trail stop losses reliance is very interesting it has it has touched this buy uh, buy zone 2629263111234 times uh, but it has not crossed that only when it crosses 2631 it will give a very very strong buy signal from there the Uh, target is two seven seven six. Sri Cement is in the bearish zone. Uh, still hold no buy signal, please. Tata Consumer Products is uh, still in the bearish zone. Uh, uh, targets are six eighty eight. Final target is six sixty six. So let's hope. Uh, let's wait. Tata Motors has given a buy signal on uh, 17th May, uh, and from there the target is uh, 4:41. Final target is 4:54. Tata Steel, as expected, gave a went up to 1027, which was there in the 16th May video. Uh, that target is already achieved. Uh, we still don't. I still don't think it will uh, move uh, further. The this line has to be crossed. This line, um, this blue line, has to be crossed for a uh, up move. Vipro has been beaten down very badly. All targets are achieved. All lower targets are achieved. This was this target of four forty six is also achieved. Uh, so let's hope uh, for the reversal. Reversal will happen. Will get confirmed only if it crosses four hundred and ninety three. Apollo Hospitals. The reversal will get confirmed. It, the buy signal will only come at four thousand six. Doctor Reddy's is still in the. in the bullish zone you can it gave a buy signal on uh, sorry 
it gave a buy signal on 20th may from there it has been moving up the target was uh, 4421 which is already achieved but uh, you can trail your stop losses Titan buy signal will come only at 2272 if it closes if it closes about 2272 then it, there is a buy signal SBI buy signal will come only above 494 all targets are achieved 444 target is also achieved so the possibility of a reversal but uh, confirmed buy signal will come only after it crosses 494 BPCL is still in the bearish zone uh, Let's look at the further target of our BPCL. Uh, I think BPCL should go to something like um, 297 to start a reversal, or uh, yes, I think 297 seems to be the uh, right place for a reversal. Kotak Bank has given a buy signal on. Uh, 23rd May from there the target is uh, targets were uh, 1875, 1885, 1959 which is also I think nearing achievement 1990 is the final target. UPL has come back it has given a sell signal on uh, 12th uh, May and from there uh, there seemed like a pullback but that is not worked 12th may uh, sell signal is still there still uh, holding so 740 uh, target is already achieved I think the final target should come to somewhere here uh, 640 Infosys again very badly beaten down uh, you can see here this gap of uh, 1730 and uh, 1630 this 100 rupees gap has to be filled until it fills that gap there will not be any reversal but still if you want a buy signal buy signal will come only at 1540 that is 80 rupees away from here and uh, the target was uh, 13 8 1390 which is all which is nearing which has nearly been achieved final target is 13.17 which I don't know which, whether it will come or not. <coughs> Budget finance buy signal will come only here fire 6.335 Sun Pharma has given a sell signal on uh, 10th May from there it tried to break out but it has not happened the target is uh, was 828 it came down to 836 and came down uh, as of now it's in the no trade zone JSW steel two days pullback as they say do din ki chandni chandni nahi hoti hai so let's hope that I don't think it will go nothing will happen to this this is expected to go to 420 HDFC bank has given a buy signal on Friday this is a very good signal I think uh, next target is 1409 after that it is 1426 then 1479 final target is 1620 <coughs> TCS has broken that line, that uh, line with the, we have spoken of earlier also, the resistance line, but it has not closed above the resistance line, but anyway, um, it is still in no trade zone, it will give a buy signal only after three, after it crosses 3, 4, 6, 8. Uh, 
ICICI Bank has given a buy signal. All even by, you can see Nifty Bank and all its components have given buy signal. So this is um, seven. This is a good buy signal. Target is seven sixty four. <coughs> Power Grid has scared. It was it was about to give a sell signal at uh, two twenty four. If it falls below two twenty four, sell. Uh, power grid it will come to 216 and then it will come to 195 but only if it falls below 224 Maruti has given a buy signal target is very small I think that is already achieved on the same day let's hope keep fingers crossed if this target if this is crossed so this if this um, 7964 is crossed then the target next target is 8900 Indusin bank yet to recover from the fall but uh, seems like on the, on the course to recover let's but a real buy signal will come only after it crosses 978 Axis Bank yet to recover from the. It has recovered a little bit from the fall. Uh, this is a crucial level. Uh, only buy signal will come after it crosses seven hundred and twelve. HCL Tech still in no trade zone. It will give you a buy if it can. It can give a buy signal only if it crosses one zero seven zero. ONGC is in no trade zone, so let's not talk about it. NTPC still in no trade zone. Let's not talk about it. Coal India will give a buy signal only if it crosses one hundred and ninety-one rupees. Expected to do so in this week. Bharti Airtel. I had already said that the target is six sixty four. I think it has come very near to six sixty four and gone. So let's wait. There is no trade as of now. Tech Mahindra no trade because it is still. Uh, it can give a buy signal only after it crosses one two one zero. Divis Lab has given a very bad. Uh, it gave a sell signal on sixth uh, May and then uh, it started falling very badly. Uh, you can see here this is where it was supposed to go to three three one zero. Where it has gone? It has gone up to three three six five. So I think um, the fall is over. Now let's wait for uh, the next move. Adani Ports gave a sell signal on uh, 6th May. From there, the target was uh, 680. It has already reached the 680. Now, let us wait. Hold. HDFC Life has given a buy signal. Was given had given a buy signal long back. It had given on 4th May, 4th April only, and uh, some targets were 567, 581. Uh, next target is six one eight. Um, next target is six fifty nine. It is going to go up. Uh, uh, it has given a good scare here on nineteenth uh, May, but uh, from then it, it you can see one two three four five six candles. HDFC Life is expected to go up in the next week too. Another life insurance company will give up. Complete, correct, confirmed buy signal. Uh, SBI Life will give a confirmed buy signal at one one five zero, which is very, which is very near. I think uh, we can start uh, thinking about SBI Life also as a buy. Ultra Tech Cements. The final target of five nine zero two is already reached. So let's hope that this reversal happens. If it happens, then it will go up. 
but by signal will come only at six four five nine. That's an interesting one. Bajaj Auto. Bajaj Auto is very very near the buy signal. This is the buy signal will have will come only if it closes above three eight five seven. And if it closes above three eight five seven, first target would be three nine one four. Then the highest is three nine eight seven. So the next target would be around four thousand. Uh, fingers crossed. Bajaj Fincer has given a has broken down. My target was somewhere here, that is one thousand four twenty six, which has not come. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, unless it crosses this line, this yellow line, it will not uh, give a buy signal. The buy signal may, you know, once it crosses this, then it has to cross this red line of thirteen thousand seven hundred. <coughs> Uh, please comment on the uh, video uh, and please let me know what else you would like to know i uh, i will post videos uh, depending upon what the uh, viewer wants um, whether it is technical or fundamental analysis um, let's learn together thank you